Another day, another credit. I was hoping you'd say that. Hey, you get caught. Better off dead. You did the feet of faith. the fleet without a price. Blood or blood. You kidding me? Way to make a mess in front of my new rook. Next time, think before you betray your own. Sounds like you did the fleet a favor. Uh, now this. toss this body out of an airlock before it turns into a damn air freshener. The hell took you so long? Forget how to grab jump or something? Please. It'd be one less sloppy rook whose mess I had to clean up. The last thing I need is another Austin rake getting cold feet. You want to leave the fleet? You pay the price. Not in credits, but in blood. I don't care. Time is money and you've wasted both. That ends today. Clear? But all that aside, you made it. 
So now, you get to hear a nifty history lesson. Pencils ready? Good. This floating scrap heap you're standing on is called the Keep. Used to be an old UC military star station, and now it's the fleet's base of operations. Might look a little beat up on the outside, but we keep it together. Oh, well, I'll get right on that. A few plans, some throw pillows, and maybe this place will meet with your approval. Okay, sunshine? Hmm. While you're drawing up a list, some air freshener would be nice as well. Anyway, I'll tell you all about the key. But it's better if I show you, too. Follow me. All right. History time. So, the key is in orbit around Suvorov. That's the very same ice ball where the United Colonies built a supermax prison they call the Lock. The UC is so clever. Supermax prison, lock, key, uh, cute, huh? Now, we've got everything the fleet needs right here. Of course, you've got to pay for it. Remember, on the key, credits are king. What the hell is this? All right, all right, hang on, Nev. Before you get pissed, I've got my hands full. Jasmine, sweetie, I'm trying to give a tour here. So you want to tell me why those damn doors are sealed? It's called a malfunction. You know, that thing I spend most of my day dealing with. Believe me, my people are on it. Have a little faith for once. And you always, Angel. This here's Jasmine. You need anything for your ship, she's got you covered. We'll hit up the depot next since these doors have given out on us. So anyway, we were talking about the lock. About a hundred years ago, the prisoners down there rioted and took over the place. After stealing some ships, they were actually able to make it up here and took over the key. About time you brought us new blood, Neva. I was getting tired of trading with the same old faces. You're just ticked everyone's getting wise to your ridiculous prices, Aludra. Anyway, welcome to the depot, Rook, where you'll be lucky if these blood-sucking leeches don't bleed you completely dry. Whoa, whoa. It's not our fault that people don't appreciate how much it costs to get untraceable merchandise onto the key. Neva's just vining because she thinks she lost a ton of cash selling us a shipment of gear. She should have done her homework. Yeah, sure, laugh it up. I'll remember that next time I need something from you cheapskates. Let's move on. <clears throat> Back to my story. After the liberated prisoners grabbed the key, they established it as a base of operations and began pirating the spaceways. That was how the Crimson Fleet began. Of course, Jasper Cricks had a lot to do with all that, but uh, we'll get to him later. Rook, meet Zuri, queen of the rare exports. If I don't have it, you don't need it. Neuroamps, blueprints. Hit her up and she'll take care of you. Speaking of which, you still owe me for that last purchase, Neva. It's like five figures. Don't make me collect it the hard way. <laughs> the hard way? Oh no. Rook, protect me from Zuri's vengeance. Enough of the bullshit, Zuri. I'll pay you when I pay you. Deal with it. Got a problem with that? Take it up with the boss. I hope On the you right, came with credits. Got Bradley from the Trade Authority. I'm sure you know the deal there. He'll work anything, no matter how hot. Then we got our med bay on the... One by the one and only Samina Mizra. Oh, I'm not here? What's the matter with you? We don't run any free clinics up in here, you don't? Okay. Over there, you've got the last Nova, where Bog serves watered-down drinks at ridiculously exorbitant prices. And right here is the most important place on the entire station. The Reckoner's Core, 
run by the incomparable Shinya Voss. Another new rook, Neva? I can't believe Delgado still lets you recruit, given what happened with the last one. You mean Austin Rape? It's been taken care of, all right? I don't like loose. Wook is the one who tied it off. Perhaps next time you'll try to be a bit more discerning regarding your choices. It's far more cost effective. Yeah, yeah, love you too, darling. Anyway, Shinya handles our lifeblood. The money. We call him our Reckoner, but if you ask me, he's actually a pain in the ass. And Neva will slit your throat if she thinks you'll bleed creds. Go to hell, boss. Take care of our new friend here, or I'll find a way to pull the pin on that little party popper in your chest. Anyway, Shinya will get you set up in our system. I've got real work to do. Once you're done, head upstairs and I'll introduce you to the boss. Time for a proper introduction. I am Shinya Voss, the official reckoner for the Crimson Fleet. And since Neva so thoughtfully mentioned it, yes, this is a bomb embedded in my chest. And no, I'll never know the meaning of the word humble. In fact, I find Delgado's idea of a security measure to be quite empowering. That's... Amusing? I don't think I've heard that one before. Oh wait, yes I have. You might as well dispense with all the stupid jokes. I've been hearing them for years. Since I oversee the bulk of transactions and maintain all accounts for the fleet, I'm a prime target for information. Should our enemies capture me or I grew any semblance of a moral conscience, you might consider me the greatest threat we have. For Delgado, the bomb grants peace of mind and a certain degree of safety. It's been over five years since I've stepped off the key. Leaving this place puts far too much at risk. Now, let me get you set up. A moment while I convene with the core. Thanks to advanced modifications even Ryujin would envy, I can interface directly with our mainframe and the Galbank network. This allows me to move and clean credits faster and more efficiently than any run-of-the-mill cyber runner. There, you're done. All you need now is Delgado's blessing, and you'll be one of us. Getting into the system is a piece of cake. Getting out? Not so much. Anyway, I need you to listen up. Thanks to our relations with contacts across the galaxy, we always have a steady stream of jobs available. I've granted you all the necessary permissions to access these listings at any time using the computers that surround the core. If Neva's chosen wisely, we certainly will. Now, I believe that covers all I have to say. So you can run along to Delgado. Take the elevator to the upper level. You should be able to find your way from there, I hope. All right, listen up. You can all stop complaining. Atrium to cargo bay so, doors. So, what's new with you today? Oh, of course not. You're welcome, Nev. Leaving? Oh, I see how it is. <laughs> My prices may be high, but these goods ain't exactly easy to find. I was raised fleet. My mama joined up when I was 12. She was a first-class smuggler. We'd always lived comfortably, but she took the offer to join when a job almost went south. She figured if anything ever happened to her, it guarantee I'd still have a home. Hell no. The two things I don't want in this life? A real boss and customers that I can't shoot in the face if they piss me off. 
Dell lets me do what I want to here as long as he knows I'm loyal to the fleet. I sell what I want, I work when I want, I do what I want. And I wouldn't have it any other way. My mama taught me everything I need to know to get by in this world. I may not have fancy degrees, but I know how to survive and live the life I want to live, which is more than I can say for most of the people in the settled systems. I sell a little bit of everything, but only if it's hard to find, and only for a high price. Neuroamps, a few unique resources, maybe a specialized weapon or two, anything that's rare and in high demand. Hey, I'm always ready to take credits off your hands. Come back and see me sometime. Important or not, I'm ready. Bring me anything useful?
Have something for? I love catching up with you. Let's do it again sometime. Who smiled at me funny? I sewed his mouth shut. Now he laughs the same way he eats, in pieces. The fleet protects our own. You turn against us, and you're dead. Tell me you know exactly if I need something? These materials don't sell themselves. It's a general store, which means I sell general goods. Mostly junk that no one else wants to carry. Raw materials, blueprints, spare parts. Fascinating, I know. I don't do small talk. You want to do business? We'll do business. You want to chat? Go see Bog. This better be worth it. They're done here? Great. 
You don't make it in this life without a good weapon. Well, well. Neva's new hotshot. <laughs> I knew you'd find your way back to my little corner of the key. Everyone always does. Take a look around, genius. And don't tell me you've never laid eyes on a gun before. But just in case I need to spell it out for you, the merch I carry is known as weapons and ammunition. Get it? Good thing I'm not here to impress. I carry most of the standard hardware, you know, kinetics, electromags, energy, even a few explosives. Occasionally, I stock a few smuggled items. Basically the stuff Sisdev doesn't want you to play with. Just don't screw me over or I'll be inclined to give you a free demo. With your head as the target. Not being intimidated by me is one thing. The fleet? <laughs> That's another. A little advice, Sadiqi? The fleet's trust can't be bought. You earn it. You bleed for the fleet, the fleet bleeds for you. Pure and simple. Anyone who says otherwise is either lying or getting ready to stab you in the back. Oh, please, I don't need your concern. All I care about is separating you from your credits. So let's leave our professional relationship at that, all right? <laughs> I'd argue Boggs got me beat as far as customer base goes. But when it comes to profit, I am on top. A good gun's what makes all the difference out there sometimes. And for some, it's the only thing they'll ever trust. Plenty of merchandise... Done here? Fine by me. Sorry to pull you aside like this, but I wanted to take a moment to congratulate you. Taking those steps to eradicate the Terramorph threat is essential to the safety of every living thing in the settled systems. You should be proud. Yes, exactly. I'm glad you treated the situation with the urgency it deserved. Well, I'm relieved that the United Colonies agreed to use their genetically engineered microbe to exterminate the Terramorphs. Apparently, their decision was based on your recommendation. Hmm. 
That was a smart choice you've made. A solid scientific decision. That's a wise decision. Besides, if Chief Engineer Kalkani believes that the microbe will be effective, then we have to trust her experience. Good, good. Mm, I wouldn't want you to think it was some kind of mistake. Your decision, coupled with the eradication of the Lazarus plant, has made the settled systems a safer place to live for years to come. Oh, well, uh, of course. I'm happy to be there for you. If there's anything else you ever feel like discussing, you let me know. Always a pleasure. I'd be happy to carry a few. Hope we can talk later. Need a drink? Bog at the Las Nova will be more than happy to take your credits. Every captain here has earned their stripes, bleeding for the fleet. Here to upgrade them.
thought you wouldn't get caught, huh? That's some... I was hoping you'd say that. I'm here. We should get a drink sometime.
Stanislaw's sister is some hardcore mercenary. I wouldn't get on her bad side. So, looks like, once again, I'm Jazz, resident engineer here. Like Neva said, you need ship parts, repairs? I'll hook you up. As long as your credits are good. Neva's the only one who calls me that, amongst other things. To you and everyone else, it's just plain old jazz. Neva's mine, so don't be getting any ideas. She may be a little rough around the edges, but she's just looking out for her own. There's no one better to have your back. Oh, it did when I first got here. Most of these folks aren't too keen on maintenance. Today, the key's about as safe as any other UC station. Just with a hell of a lot more personality. I can guarantee your ship will be in good hands. So if you're looking for an upgrade, let me know. We got the best selection in the settled systems. Illegal, unregistered, recalled. We sell it all. No questions asked. No, 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 no. You buy from me, you're worry-free. I can't have my customers getting caught now, can I? <laughs> That's bad for business. Anything that keeps the UC and Freestar Rangers off your tail is a must-have in my book. Just let me know when you want to talk business. Serious enough that you don't have a chance in hell? Neva's got a fire in her. The kind you only see in an engine pushed to its limit. She doesn't half-ass a damn thing, and I love her for it. <laughs> Truth is, the fleet rescued me. Of course, I wouldn't have needed rescuing if they hadn't blown up the ship I was working on. Delgado plucked me out of space and brought me to the Key. I took one look at the place and was compelled to work. Soon after, he offered me a permanent spot with the fleet. No. But just remember, I don't work for free. Sounds like fun. stay under the radar. If you've got the credits, I've got... I'd love to take your money, but... Shop's always open as long as you're... Warm up the engines. The fleet better get a move on before Dale sees you slacking. Ah, there is our other new recruit. Need something? So, now that we are all here, it's time to get down to business. The two of you are the only rooks that have made the latest cut. The rest, well, let's just say they won't be joining us ever again. Neva's willing to put her neck on the line and vouch for you, which means you've got what it takes to join the Crimson Fleet. 
If dealing with the Ragana was at the limit of your capabilities, then you have a serious problem on your hands. You are already in too deep to quit. And I can promise you, it only gets more difficult from here. All right, let's get started here. When you sign up with the Crimson Fleet, you're in it for the long haul. No one quits. No one retires. The only way out is death. You stay loyal or you pay the consequences. Fleet before friends. Fleet before family. Fleet before yourself. Hey, if you've got a problem, I can decorate that wall behind you with your brains. Room could use a little color if you ask me. It's all right, neighbor. I admire this Rook's backbone. Takes a lot of guts to crack jokes with the threat of death staring them in the face. Can we get on with this? I want to get drunk at the last Nova. I'm impressed. That is the first intelligent thing you have said this entire time, Mathis. Since you two seem so eager to move forward, let's get to your next job. Pack your cold weather gear, Rooks. Where we are going, you're going to need it. Oh, God, don't tell me you're dragging him down to Suvaral for another one of your little initiation runs. Ten Johns to the surface, twelve dead Rooks. You'd think by now you would have given up on that goddamn campfire story. Crix's legacy is no story, neighbor. We've got fresh eyes in the fleet, and if these two want to impress, they're going to help me search those ruins. I hope you're right, Dale. That new code we grabbed for the lot cost us a ton of credits. And a decent captain. This initiation, as Neva calls it, is your chance to see where it all began. On Suvorov with Jasper Griggs. Griggs led the riots that gave birth to the Crimson Fleet. And if his legacy is still out there, we're going to be the ones to find it. Before Crix left the fleet, he left a message talking about a major score. One that would set up the fleet to be a big player in the settled systems. Somewhere down the line, they started calling it Crix's legacy. And everyone who's tried to find it has wound up empty-handed, missing, or dead. If we're gonna beat those odds, we'll first need a lead. And I would wager we will find one on Suvorov. Dale's leaving out the best part. That this whole search is based on a handful of words on a very old slate. Crix left a lot of big talk on that recording. And not a lot of facts. Some of us believe in it more than others. <laughs> Don't listen to her. When we get our hands on Krix's legacy, the fleet will be operating at a completely different level. We will become more than a match for UC Sistef. You forget the UC is still licking its wounds from the colony wars. They don't have the capability to mount a full-scale assault. And if they were foolish enough to attack, we would have the manpower to push those pendejos right back to Jemison. If we have Grix's legacy. Listen to the words that I am saying. The legacy is real. You will find that out in due time. Provided you're willing to put in the work. Nothing worth having ever comes easy. Though the idea of the legacy has probably been blown a bit out of proportion, I'm certain there's an element of truth to its existence. Exactly. Now you're beginning to understand. Okay, enough discussion. We have got a lot of work to do. To that end, the next stop is the lock. I've had Jazz feed the coordinates into your ship's computer. Since Mathis doesn't have a ship, he's going to ride with me. I'll see you down there, Rook. Don't keep me waiting.
Electromax, energy weapons. Is this important? Because I'm pretty sure you've been given orders. Because that's exactly what you are. A rookie, a newbie, fresh meat. Beneath all of that inexperience, I'm sure you have an actual name. But honestly, no one gives a damn. So get used to hearing that word. Until you earn your stripes, you're a rook to everyone in the fleet. Mathis is a real piece of work. Adler shoveled him onto us about a week before you turned up. One of the greediest rooks I've seen come through the key in a long time. Dumb as a bag of spanners, too. Do you know he had the guts to ask Delgado for jump fuel compensation after being asked to fly out here? He didn't get it, but damn. If you want my advice, save everyone the trouble and make sure he doesn't come back from your little planetary excursion on Suvorov. Let's put it this way. I know Delgado needs something to give rooks like you some confidence. But let's get real for a second. Do you really think Crix could hide that much wealth and keep it hidden from the rest of us for over a hundred years? No way. Secrets last as long as supernovas around here. No one can keep their mouth shut unless someone shuts it for them. Nah. <laughs> It's all a bunch of bullshit. Look, I'm not trying to bust Dell's balls. He's not the first to go looking for that fairy tale, and I'm damn sure he's not gonna be the last. What kind of stupid question is that? This is the Crimson Fleet. Trusting someone is as pointless as trying to carry water in your bare hands. Do you have any idea how many assholes I've had to put down because they decided to try and make a run at me? Or Dale? Way too many. Just follow directions and keep making the fleet money. And we won't have a problem. Clear? And after Bog was done. Hit me up if you got questions. We've heard all that crap a thousand times. 